Time for our, oh wait, sorry. You done? Yep. Welcome to Cocktails and Crockpots. I'm Lydia. I'm Lynette. We're gonna do um, acorn squash, stuffed, ac stuffed acorn squash with brown rice and mushrooms. Yes. All right, now we're going to make our acorn squash stuffed with brown rice and mushrooms. You're gonna need two acorn squash, relatively good size. This will end up feeding about four people. And you're gonna cut the top off, cut the bottom. And you'll do that to both. And then you just cut it right down the middle. And get the innards out like you would a pumpkin. It's a regular kind of gourd thing. Cut these all scraped out. And what you need is a little bit of olive oil to coat the exposed meat, because you're going to roast them in the oven at 450 degrees. And I've already sprayed my sheet because I'm going to end up placing them upside down after I put some salt and pepper on them as well, just for seasoning. Now we've already got um, some rice cooking in the cooker because that is going to be part of our stuffing. We're gonna add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Now you're going to put them upside down in your baking sheet and stick them in the oven for 35 minutes. And don't worry, they'll be done. Now we're gonna saute half a pound of mushrooms that I have roughly chopped up. These are button mushrooms. On medium heat and the leftover about a tablespoon of oil that I was using earlier for my uh, acorn squash. All right, now that those have been sauteed for a little bit and they're a little more brown, I'm going to add in onion, thyme, salt, and pepper. Cook them for a couple minutes until the onion is nice and tender. So we've got our mushrooms and onions all cooked and ready to go. A little more than half a cup of feta right here, just add it in. You can also use goat cheese, it's up to you. Some people don't like goat cheese, I love it. And then your cooked rice. I chose brown rice because it's healthier for you. But admittedly, it does not always look like it's completely cooked. So you're gonna stir that all around. completely come back. Now, these should be fully cooked, nice and roasted. Flip those bad boys over. Now you're gonna take little bits of it out from each one, and you're gonna add it into your stuffing mixture. It's about, oh, I'd say a tablespoon, maybe a little more. Just stir it all around. Make sure that the squash is also well incorporated. And Lynette mentioned kind of like a twice baked acorn squash. Make sure that they're nice and relatively level. And you're just gonna scoop a little bit into each one. So eventually you have a nice heaping stuffed acorn. Now what you do is you stick them back in the oven under the broiler for two minutes until they're nice and crispy and gooey. And then serve a stroke. Yeah. It's, it's time for our Irish Car bomb. To go along with the March St. Patrick's Day theme that we've got yeah. going on. So we've got Guinness, mm -hmm. and you're going to fill a cup up with just a little, with enough space left over to incorporate a half a shot of whiskey. Oh, I thought you drop it. No, you drop this in. Are you sure? Yeah, it was what the recipe said. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Too late now. <laughs> Drink up. <laughs> it's not gonna have enough room, is it? It's, if it makes a mess, just put it up by your face, drop it in, and <laughs> drink it when it starts to okay. overflow. And then, <laughs> well, you wanna do the whole thing? Half a shot of Irish cream. Ish. Okay, it doesn't have enough space in there to actually drop it in. Okay, sorry, we're do it, making do and you guys have to suck it up. 
I'm just going to wait, pour wait, wait. Just try. Just try. Just see if it goes slow so it starts to make a mess. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna make a mess. Okay, you would typically drop it in there, but this is the cup we had. So, we're just going to do this. Because really, what does it matter? Yeah, seriously. It's gonna just go in your stomach anyways. All I can taste is the Guinness. I like that cloudy look though. Oh no, I can taste the cream a little now. It's like at the back end of it. It's good. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Looks like an angry sandstorm. Whatever. We're not picky. Cheers, cheers. That's it for our March videos. Hope you enjoyed this. Yes. Uh, happy St. Patrick's Day. Um, happy birthday to me. Happy spring. Yes. And uh, happy daylight savings. Um, don't forget to like, share, and comment. Uh, let us know if there's any recipes you want us to try. Mm -hmm. We look forward to hearing from you guys. Yes.